Hello, I am Test Drive and welcome to more Test Drive Unlimited on the PlayStation 2. And after some uh, researching of things, why why is the button and the text on the bottom of the screen changed when I go between these menus? Uh, yeah, I did some uh, some looking around at things, some figuring out what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. And with that, I have decided uh, that we are going to be racing some German cars in this video. And there's one in particular that I want to buy, which will probably actually end up being uh, maybe the thumbnail for this video. We'll see. Depending on if I want to do that or use the uh, 300 SL, because I might actually be able to use it for at least one race. Because uh, there's not really a lot of German cars in this game besides the uh, Mercedes. So, I think up here... Yeah, there we go. All right, Mercedes-Benz dealer. Uh, I still do not have the CLK DTM unlocked, but uh, I do have the faster car, which is the SLR unlocked. So we're gonna hop in that real quick. Um, I actually don't know how much it costs, probably like three or 400K. Oh my God, the Mercedes dealers, they're so blue. I never even used any more Mercedes other than the uh, SLK, did I? 460K, makes sense. Uh, but yeah, these. I just spoiled it. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna win the CLK DTM from this club, by the way. I literally just accidentally showed it. I knew it was going to happen, because I looked it up, but whatever, now you know. And here are our stats for the SLR. And uh, we'll have a look around it, of course. Of course, it's got the, uh, are those butterfly doors? Is that what they call butterfly doors? I actually don't really know. I know that's a term that is used, and that's about it. Got a nice, like, red, reddish interior, which is kind of nice. Some definite textures of all time right there. <laughs> Fine, it's a PS2 game. Can't ask that much of it. And we'll go ahead and, uh, ooh, that's an interesting color. I really want to go with the green, but I also want to change the color of the interior, which I can only do with the blue. All right, let's have a look. So we have gray or blue interior. Does it have... What does the interior look like if it's... Wait, does it... Oh, it doesn't stay. That's fucked up. I don't think I can inspect it either. No, I can't inspect. You know what? I'm just going to take a chance and get the green and hope that it has a green interior. And if it doesn't, we're not going to see it that much anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. Another $460,000 down, not really down the drain, I guess, but uh, on a car. Doesn't look like it has a green interior. I can't tell. It looks gray. I now finally have another Mercedes, and it's gray. Unfortunate. Oh, well. We now have another A-class car and another Mercedes at that. And I suppose it is time to work on the German car club, which I think is actually down here. No, that's British. Where's the German one at? Roadsters. Oops. Mid-engine. Is it this one? No, this one's European down here. There's specifically a German car club somewhere. Is this it? Ah! BT. Wells. Uh, there we go. German car club. I don't need to do that anymore, by the way, still. I have to remember that I don't have to target things. Because I can just... Wait for it. Can I... See if I can teleport directly on top of where I need to be. I think I can. Which is funny, because you'd think that everything would just automatically be unlocked, because you can just do this. But no, it doesn't work like that. Anyways, let's get into this. Hawaiian Racing League. We got the, uh, the fancy clubhouse for this one. Alright. Oh, I forgot about the W12s. I could have bought a W12. Oh well, I have an SLR now. All right, uh, actually the SLR isn't even in here, interestingly enough. So we do have uh, the Audi TT, 
and the SLK and the CLS. No 300 SL, but at least every car is different technically, even though I guess the W12 Roadster and Coupe have completely different engines, so I guess that works out for them. Uh, but I guess we'll get started. Um, you know what? I want to use... Let's use the SLK for a few races since it is uh, upgraded. All right, Meta Moth. What a name. In the Audi TT Quattro Sport will be our first opponent. Let's get started. Alrighty. Using the car I started off the game with. Literally the first car I ever owned, or not owned, but drove in this version of this game, in this playthrough, nice, uh, was the SLK because I drove it from V-Rent. And I also did a race with it because, you know, why don't you just take every car you rent out racing as soon as you rent it? That's just how it works, obviously. What do you hear I do? I guess it's just gray. It does have a red line across the dash. I don't know why that is, but... Boring gray interior otherwise. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's fine. Everything is fine. I know what I'm doing. Oh, God. What is that noise? Right. What are they doing in this song? <laughs> Sounds like an anime girl, to be completely honest with you. Because they just sound like that, you know? Not under any special circumstances or anything, no. I refuse to comment any further. Oh god. Hey, I've been through this area before. Multiple times, I think. Uh, we're good. I'm being very careful. Hey, there's a clubhouse, I think. Looks like it. Uh-oh. Fine. I know what I'm about, I swear. Wish I would have bought the uh, CLS at some point. I mean, I guess I still could use it for something. Maybe even like the luxury car one. We'll see. I don't know why I'm slowing down for the finish line, don't mind me, it's fine. I'm just giving Meta Moth some time to catch up, so I don't have to wait here as long. Well, I see a name. I see a car. Oh my god. You really need to just barely miss me. Alright, 13 seconds ahead on our first race. We continue. Alright, next up we have the stock SLK55, driven by Mark Engels. Isn't that what the one robot's name in Nier Automata was? The one robot. Ah, yes, that is very descriptive of Nier Automata. Anyways, let's, uh, <laughs> let's start this race. Don't mind me. Okay. Roughly same car versus roughly same car. Mine may have some upgrades, but it's fine. It was necessary for my survival. I actually don't remember why I upgraded it. Turn left. Turn left. Was it the- oh, it was the Mercedes challenge, wasn't it? The, uh, the ser series race. In amateur rank? Rookie or amateur? Yeah. It was super early on. And this was the cheapest Mercedes, to be fair. Still is Turn the left. cheapest Mercedes, I don't know. Why I said was. Turn 
We... Uh-oh. There's a turn here. Fine. Everything's fine. Please don't let there be traffic. Why, for once, can you just let me live? Let me say things and actually be heard and trusted. Oh, God. traffic moment. I also just couldn't turn hard enough. Fine. This is why they give you time to get back on the road with the penalty. They don't just, like, the next intersection, turn left. eliminate turn you left. immediately. Which is nice. I will give them that. Turn right. And it is the same kind of penalty system as was had in the uh, 360 version. Wait, hold up. Yeah, yeet. <laughs> just go as fast as possible. To be fair, I could have actually just done that and made it around the turn and kept going. Probably without even getting that much more of a penalty. But the race ended, so you know. All right, another 16 seconds ahead on that one. Nice, nice. And now, I think I get the race against the CLS. Is this a CLS 55 or a 63 AMG? I don't remember. It's 55, okay. Didn't Midnight Club 3 have the 63 and the 55? Or was it a regular and then the AMG? I think it might have been the regular version and then also the AMG 55. I don't remember. Anyways, it's driven by Larson Tung. What a name. All right. I feel like in reality, the SLK 55 would just be faster than the CLS 55. Just simply because look at that thing and look at this. There's a bit of a size difference. I'm pretty sure it was the same powertrain. Which is kind of crazy to think about that the same supercharged V8 was in a giant sedan and also this little bitty roadster. Hard top convertible thingy. Uh oh. Doesn't turn particularly well still though. I'm gonna be honest with you. Not that big of a fan of how it turns. Fine, everything's cool. Cool and good. Careful, careful. Traffic. I like how I nearly almost flipped over that car by just tapping it on one side. Which one I thought it was going to be. Uh, oh my god, my phone distracted me. It's fine. I'm still ahead. That is all I need. Oh. Good. Everything's cool. Everything is cool and good. Turn left. Turn left. I gotta say, for the car list of this version of the game compared Turn to right. the 360 version, very interesting that the CLS 55 AMG made it into this version. Because there's a lot of omissions, like various convertible versions of cars, as well as like some classic cars, uh, but also like the Chrysler Crossfire isn't in this game in the slightest. Uh... Well, the Audis aren't, like the A6, A6, S6. I think there's an S4 as well. Um, 
Is there an S4 Avant? The, or uh, not Avant, the, uh, the convertible Roadster? What do they call the Roadster? I don't remember. There was an Audi S4 convertible in the 360 version. That was actually one of the cars you could buy at the beginning of the game, I think. No, maybe. I don't know. It's actually weird thinking about it now, because I'm like thinking like, yeah, there was like an S6, there was an RS4. I think some of them might have been DLC cars. And I'm my my memory is skewed because I just had all the DLC for the 360 version and the PC version. Um from the get-go pretty much of when I started playing these games. I don't know. Uh anyways, SLR time because we're up against the CLK DTM. I'm very intrigued to drive coming up here. But yeah, it seems like most of the big heavy sedans did not make it over. Well, I say that even though there's a Chrysler 300 is like in this version, which is again an odd one to make it in. You bitch. <laughs> oh, I didn't look at their name. I, I don't even know how to say that. I'm too distracted thinking about what cars were in this version of the game, or were not in this version, that were in the other version. Don't mind me. Hello. Turn right. Person. Thank you for just getting in my way instantaneously. That was not a safe re-entry. There was nothing safe about any of that. It's actually a pretty short race. Not even two miles long. And across the line. That is a name. I don't really know how to pronounce any of it. So I won't. But I won. So we continue. On to the president. I think. Or no, 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 no. We have both of the W12s left. I forget. I think the W12 Roadster is B class and the coupe is A class because one is like way more powerful than the other. I think. I don't remember. I thought that said not tentacles at first. I don't know why it says tentacles. Fabian Tentacles Kuschler? Maybe? In the W12 Roadster, I'm we're just we're just gonna start the race. We're not gonna think about it anymore. It's gonna say tentacles, no. <laughs> Maybe tentacles had a really different meaning back in 2006 or 7. I don't know. I can't wait to just see tentacles. Just... Whitward, you know? That's what I'm thinking of, obviously. That's what they were thinking of, probably, because Spongebob was, you know, eight years in the making at this point. Or eight years old, I guess. The show. Not Spongebob himself. I don't actually know how old Spongebob is. We... Am I in front? I am in front. Okay. Oh. Turn left. Turn. This I could use interior view for a little bit. Why not? The tentacles are keeping up. Help. And this isn't even the fast one. That's the next one. Oh. We. Big jump. God, I hate this intersection. Quit taking me through this damn intersection. This is only one lane. Truly unfortunate. Nice, I heard that. I don't know why I heard it from so far away, but I sure did. Tentacles. <laughs> oh, God. Once again, I apologize for me being me. The shit I say sometimes. Oh god. We're just gonna vibe to the music for the rest of this race, I think. Enjoy. Oh, that traffic car just cut off the other traffic car. God, it's so hard to see the roads that I have to turn on sometimes. I think I can partially blame the ro low the low resolution but also partially blame the fact that, like, I can't really see any signs or anything, and the camera angle doesn't really help. I guess I could use, like, the higher-up camera. That looks not good, in my opinion, so... I don't know. Is the check engine light on? 
No, it's a fuel light. <laughs> I'm empty on fuel. What the hell? Oh, well, I've conquered the tentacles. And we move on. Ooh, actually, a decent amount of credits and points off of that. On to the president, who hopefully doesn't have something weird in her name. E.B. Love. Wouldn't really consider that weird. It is interesting, but not weird. All right. Time for the faster W12 now versus my SLR. Are those? Yeah, I guess Mercedes and Volkswagen. And there's no, like, R32 or anything. No Volkswagen R32. Are there any other Volkswagens? In the 360 version? It might have just been those three. I don't remember. All right, let's go. BB. Well, I'm already losing distance. Oh, well, not anymore. <laughs> oh my god. That was incredibly lucky. Hello, Phoebe. I would like to pass you. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> that worked. Somehow. I wasn't even trying to do that. She just got in my way. I couldn't help it. You turned into me. Oh my god, it's Jeep time. Thankfully, Jeep time was not a bad time. It was only slightly inconvenient. Once again, no, that wasn't a Jeep. That was just a normal, like, what would you call them? Like, explorers? The, uh, the more normal-looking SUVs? The not-Jeep ones? Like that one? Actually, there is, there's like, there's so many different types of SUVs when I think about it. Is uh, traffic. Because there's a Jeep looking one, and then there's the slightly bigger ones that look like, I don't know, like a Suzuki sidekick or something. And then there's like the big SUVs, or like the medium sized ones. There's like four different sizes of SUVs in this game as traffic, and there is not a single drivable SUV in any version of this game uh, unless you mod one in. Very interesting. And this was also before, like, the crossover craze. Yay! Congratulations, I've won the, S the CLK DTM AMG. And I won by three seconds. Yippee. Very nice. All right, one more club down. No longer have to race German cars. European cars though. And I forgot about the W12, so it, oh. So yeah, there's the Jeep, which I was talking about. There's like the bigger SUV, I think. Was that the bigger one? I don't know. There's, there's way too many different types of SUVs in this fucking game, is what I'm trying to say. All right, anyways, uh, I suppose that we will back to the house for now, and uh, that should actually fill up my garage, I believe, right? Oh, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm looking at the eight-car garage. This house was the one I was trying to look at. Yes, there we go. Ten cars in the garage, so I have a full garage, and uh, maybe I'll try and figure out something I can just do easily without having to buy a car in the next video um, and then the next video well here here's the thing I'm gonna switch things up for the last little bit of this game so I have been doing two clubs in between the race events and the time and the, the speed events um, go through this real quick too uh, so I have way more clubs left than what I can fit, like, normally doing two, uh... Let me rephrase this. I can no longer do two in between each of the episodes and also have it finish, or finish all the clubs as I'm finishing the game. Where's the German car one? There it is. Uh, so... Next video, next episode, will be another club. And, uh... Actually, will it be? Maybe it won't be. 
I forgot to factor in something into my into my plans. We'll see. I'll uh, basically clubs and other things will be a lot more uh, confusing coming up. I gotta plan more because I haven't planned enough apparently. Anyways, uh, there is our SLR of course, and then. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Uh, it was really struggling to load the spiker. Wait, oh, it can't dis the PS2 can't display all 10 cars at once. It unloaded the, uh, the two cars, like the uh, the SLR and whatever. I think it's a Caterham. It's in the first spot over there. That's so funny. And it loaded in the spiker and uh, this Mercedes. Interesting. I guess I never came in here after I got the SLR. But uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Anyways, here's the CLK. No back seat because who needs one when you have a race car? Automatic, by the way. Just like every other Mercedes out of this era. Except for some of the SLKs that had six speeds, I think. But there we go. I will have to use this at some point, uh, so we'll figure that out as we go. Let's let it reload in. <laughs> That's so funny that it has to load in the last two cars. Yep, and now the, the CLK and the Spiker are gone again. Very funny. Anyways, that will conclude this video. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next one still at all because I'm all out of whack, but we'll figure it out. So thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.